put a park within uh, 1.5 miles of two-thirds of the population, to touch every district, bring in diverse groups of people together in a common third place. And we're sort of creating a great big third place for Houston. BioGreenways 2020 is the big initiative that has grown out of the Houston Parks Board desire to do something sort of big and meaningful in Houston. At the same time, we're just touching neighborhoods with a lot of little nice linear parks. The Bio Greenways Initiative is truly a transformative experience for Houston. This, I think historians are going to talk about 2012 when the citizens of Houston voted by 69% to take the bayous and turn them into linear parks, green spaces, so that this becomes one of the most beautiful and greenest cities in America. That's a new thing for Houston, critical as we reinvent ourselves for success in the 21st century. People think it's Houston is being a city with no plan. We absolutely did adopt a city plan in 1913. The vision of uh, the city council at the time, Art Comey, was to create a city that was connected by green belts, connecting its major parks, its major neighborhoods, its employment centers, and that Houston was gonna grow around these greenways and provide everybody access to green space and connect parks and employment and people and uh, neighborhoods. What we saw is the plan still existed, was still available, was still early 21st century, it was still there. Could that be done in the 21st century? If you were redoing it, it would cost you 2.2 billion, but we could actually activate it for as little as 220 million. And activating it for 220 million just looked like one of the great buys of the century. That's really the math of it. Well, number one, uh, parks, green space, all of this is vital to the city of Houston. Look, we have 640 uh, square miles. There are 2.2 million people in the city of Houston. You know, people want good, solid neighborhood parks. Uh, they want to be able to take advantage of the bayous. This is the bayou city. And we didn't luck into it. We made this happen. We weren't born with the beautiful coastline or the beautiful mountains or all these natural amenities. We created it. And there's something so uniquely Houston about it that I think makes us extra proud of it. If you talk about the acreage, I think it's about 3,000 acres. That is about three and a half times the size of Central Park. So you're talking about a project that is the equivalent of three Central Parks in the city of Houston. That's a pretty big deal to me. You can go anywhere to any city in the United States. In fact, you can go to any city in the world and you will not find a precedent for this. No one's ever tried to redefine a 620 square mile city. And when you connect the bios and when you support it both locally uh, through philanthropic causes and the city and the partnerships that are created, you are communicating to the world, to these people that we're trying to get to move here, companies who are trying to get to move here, that we get it. And when you look at the nine bayous that crisscross the city of Houston, when we look at taking 3,000 underused, undeveloped acreage and turning it into green space, recreational space, that's good news. We compete for talent on a national basis and the pervasive impact to employees being able to live kind of in multiple areas and still utilize this whole park bike system, I, I think is just phenomenal. It's really genius to really for the first time take a stand and say, we are going to improve the Bayou system. I think it was evidence of what type of community we were moving to and the people here want to make Houston better and they want to make it beautiful and they are engaged and they are committed and um, you know they see it as their responsibility that was very attractive to us we want to be a part of that type of community most folks think about Bayou Greenways and say oh it's a great way to experience nature it's a great way to exercise it's a great way to experience different parts of the city absolutely yes and then there's a whole different component that gets added on to it because I think over time this is going to become an integral part of how folks move around our city, our region. It's that last mile connectivity. It's about experiencing nature, but it's about connecting people, connecting places, connecting communities. The connectivity part of it is really important to us. That's what's palpable. 
I think the fact that we would focus on parks, that we would make them beautiful, but then we would enjoy them and share them as a city, I think that's just a Houston thing. That's where ideas come from, is people talking to other people. When you connect neighborhoods, that's huge. I think it, it's gonna do wonders. I mean, it's really a thoroughfare, a, a highway system. You'll have people that bike and hike and walk. You'll have kayakers, and really that's a renaissance. Any company or organization here with roots in Houston needs to be a part of this project because it will be the defining project for Houston. Houston is where all of America is going to be in about 25 years. We are there first, and how Houston navigates the transition into building a truly successful multi-ethnic society will have enormous implications, not just for the Houston future. This is a powerful message to the world that Houston is a different place in the 21st century. I believe we're redefining the fourth largest city in the country. I think we're gonna improve the quality of life for millions of people. And we're gonna do it in a really financially disciplined way, in a way that touches everybody. Um, that's an amazing thing to be able to do.